Hey guys, so a lot of you have been asking for F1 visa preparation tips and interview experiences specifically for bachelor's program in the US. And I have been wanting to do a video like this for really long. So here it is finally. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can prepare for your F1 visa interview if you're going for a bachelor's program. And I also have a student with me sharing his experience. So keep on watching. Hey guys, I'm Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you'll find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. I have separate playlists for F1 visa and also a separate playlist for spring 22 intake. So make sure that you check out all of these videos. So in today's program, I'm going to be focusing specifically on bachelor's program in the US. Now, when it comes to the bachelor's program, the most important point which you need to be prepared for is explaining why do you want to pursue this bachelor's program in the US instead of India, especially when it comes to engineering courses which are offered plenty in India or it might be offered plenty in your home country as well. Second, when it comes to a bachelor's program, it might not always be possible to have a focus area or a specialization, but if you can do that and bring in some amount of focus or some amount of domain specialization in your bachelor's program, it's going to help you immensely in the visa interview. And when we talked to Akash, who is with me in this video today, you will see that he had a focus area in his bachelor program. He was going for an engineering program, but he wanted specifically to focus on mechatronics and that did really help him in his interview experience. And the third thing that you really need to focus on when it comes to bachelor's program is the funding. Since the duration of the program is more, the funding requirement is also going to be more in the bachelor's program. So pr properly planning your funding and showing how you're going to fund the entire duration of the course is going to be really important. One thing that you can keep in mind here is that funding need not come only from parents. Immediate family members, immediate relatives can also be a part of your funding program. And this is something that you will see in the interview experience that I'm going to dive into. So in this video, I have with me Akash. Akash recently got his visa approved and today he is here to share his entire preparation plan as well as his visa experience. Before we start, let's take a quick look at his profile. Education. So Akash has done diploma in mechanical. He completed it recently in 2021 and post that he had an admit from the Chita State University. So he started his fall semester online. So essentially that means that when he went for the interview, he was already into the program, he was already into the first semester. So the admit is from Wichita State University, the program that he's going for is a Bachelor in Engineering Technology and like I mentioned earlier, he did have a focus in this program that he wanted to focus on mechatronics. And funding, Akash's funding is not from his parents, it is fully funded by his immediate family members. So let's listen to his experience. Hello. Hello. Hi Akash, how are you doing? I'm great, how are you? So, uh, first of all, thanks a lot for taking out the time. Yeah, sure. No. So, hello everyone. My name is Akash Danukar. I've completed my diploma in mechanical engineering from Sri Bhagavad Mithilal Polytechnic College, which is in Bombay. And I'm planning to go to Wichita State University to, com uh, to complete my Bachelor's of Science in Engineering Technology with a specialization in mechatronics. And I also have started my fall semester online. Alright, great. So, um, what is the reason you started the fall semester online? Or rather, was it like a planned thing or something which, you know, it just... Uh, no, basically, uh, my diploma's uh, exam were got, got delayed because of the COVID situation in India. So, I couldn't make it to the fall campus on time. And I didn't want to wake the, uh, waste the six months uh, between the... Uh, I actually basically didn't want to defer uh, to the spring semester. Right. So I decided to take the fall semester to continue with my education. Just to prevent any gaps essentially. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Um, what was your preparation process like uh, for the visa interview, right? Like when did you start? So it's a quite fun story because I was actually uh, preparing for the August intake. So the visa preparation started uh, basically in the month of uh, June itself. I also had a date for uh, August, but it was in Chennai. But then my nearest consulate is Bombay. So, but things didn't work out. Like uh, the exams didn't happen on time. Yeah. So I decided to take the fall semester online. And for that, uh, I actually decided to take the interview a bit later, so that I'll get uh, more time to prepare and all. So I. Uh, cancelled my visa uh, date, the visa interview date, which was in August. And as soon as I cancelled, I actually got a, 
uh, visa interview date quite easily in the month of October. I know it's quite difficult to get a visa interview yeah. right now, but I was lucky enough to get it in the month of October. And uh, the process is same like uh, every other student, not that uh, different uh, as compared to a master student. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's all. Uh, you gave an interview in Mumbai, Mr. Is it? Yeah, Mumbai. Yeah. So, how was the interview experience? What did they ask you? And the interview experience for me, it was quite uh, simple. I thought it was simple. As you know, uh, you only helped me prepare with the answers and all. So the answers were on point. So I was very confident with my answers. Uh, so uh, I also hold a B2 visa. I actually didn't know what questions should I ex- expect from that. So I approached you and you helped me with that as well. So I was quite confident, but as soon as I uh, enter, entered the Mumbai consulate, uh, there was a big queue. Actually, there were uh, quite a few people waiting for the interviews, and I I saw uh, uh, quite a few rejections as well. But I was feeling quite confident uh, because I was very prepared with my answers. As soon as I uh, had my interview, the officer uh, greeted me with a good morning uh, as well. Greeted him with a good morning in a, a very confident manner, uh, and the first question he asked me was uh, regarding my uh, program itself. Why this program? And I didn't have any uh, questions asked on specifically on my university. And also, uh, as soon as uh, he finished with the program part, he asked me about my previous visit to the United States. I've been to the United States in the month of, in the year 2015. he asked me about that uh, and he was trying to confuse me basically he told me that uh, uh, have you been to the united states twice right so he was basically trying to confuse me and wanted to uh, te- wanted me to tell a lie okay so i just told him that uh, yeah i've just been there once uh, that's uh, all and he again asked me after few questions psychological thing that they do uh, yeah You to say yes, 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 yes. Right? Yes, yeah, and exactly. And suddenly, pose a question which should not be. And actually, you have you yeah. told me about this. So yeah. <laughs> I was prepared with that. Uh, yeah, he asked me about that. He also asked me how many, what was the duration of your stay back then. I answered him that. Uh, and later, he asked me about my finances. Who is sponsoring your education? But I was quite surprised. He didn't ask me about. Uh, or uh, what is the source of funds or anything related uh, like proof of funds or anything related to that uh, specific question so that was that's all and then he told that go, uh, those golden words like the visa is approved okay. i would just tell you uh, to just be confident that's the only key i think and just maintain an eye to eye contact okay yeah so things which i want to uh, like probe a little deeper one is when he yeah. asked about the course right so normally what happens in bachelors people don't uh choose a focus area because they think it's bachelors i don't need a specialization but that's not how we prepared right like you yeah, have yeah. a specific field in mind yeah, yeah. and also you were prepared as to why that field right yeah exactly yeah. would you recommend doing that right uh, because many times i see that for bachelors people still stick to a very baseline uh, kind of general uh, you know course structure Uh, I have actually seen few students with a uh, undecided major as well. Yeah. So I believe that's not a problem. Okay. Uh, but I would recommend you to have a, a major because uh, that would give the officer a satisfaction that uh, you are going for a specific uh, course and you are just uh, intent to study about that. Okay. So I believe uh, having a major is a good thing. And the second thing is about funding. So, see, in bachelor's program, the funding requirement is more, right? Because you're going yeah. during yeah. So, uh, one that, and second, like in your case, the funding was not a parent, right? So, this is something. Yeah, it was a family sponsor. There's a lot of people. Uh, yeah. You, like in your experience, saw that uh, though it was not a parent, there was still. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, I actually had my family as a sponsor. So. Uh, I also saw few uh, visa uh, ex- uh, interviews uh, in front of myself who had a uh, family as a sponsor. So I believe there is no issue with that. You just have to be confident and you have to show a strong relationship with them. That's all. Did they yeah. ask any documents, financial documents? No, no, no. But I saw a uh, interview that uh, a lady was asking a lot of documents from people, a proof of funds, basically. Okay. All right. So, but you should be prepared with your documents. Right. Right. Okay. 
uh, what else any other tips advice for people who are get to give the interviews now in the next one one and a half month i believe that confidence is the only key as soon as i entered the consulate i don't know why but my confidence level was on a different level okay. i believe because of the practice we've done okay. mock interviews we've had so uh, my confidence was on a different level i don't know why but it uh, that really helped me okay. and uh, uh, please uh, try to use hand gestures and uh, eye to eye contact mm-hmm. uh, this will develop a relationship with the officer and it will help you basically okay so i believe confidence is the key okay great yeah. so overall even if it's a bachelor program it's still the same focus points exactly uh, yeah course university funding getting yeah. all that proper right in place yeah. and maintaining eye contact right yeah 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 <laughs> okay so also i would uh, i would recommend if you are going for a uh, spring intake try mm-hmm. to book your tickets as soon as possible Because right. the tickets are quite expensive. Correct. Yes. January first week tickets are quite expensive. Yeah. That's a good tip actually. Thanks for sharing that. that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. All the best. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing this. <laughs> All right so just like Akash if you want my help in preparing for your visa interview please feel free to get in touch with me we can do a one to one session to really deep dive into your profile structure your answers and help you get ready for whatever might be asked in the interview you can also book a mock session with me this is going to give you all the practice the confidence building and the fluency that you need on the day of the interview we do multiple rounds of mock the entire recording for both the sessions is going to be shared with you so you can always go back and refer it In addition to that you can also be a part of my next F1 prep workshop this are uh, workshops which help you to just get started on the process and it's literally a crash course to get your visa ready all the details for all of these things is mentioned in the description box below i also have a ton of free downloads so make sure that you check out all of it and before i end just want to tell you there are a lot more useful videos coming up so if you are all set to give your interview in the next 2 months for the spring intake then make sure that you subscribe stay tuned and don't miss out on any of the videos signing off for now i'll see you in the next one bye